All right, all right, ladies, welcome to Mindful Attraction 2.0. And if you if you haven't watched my previous video about um, five, seven reasons why long distance relationship never work out, maybe you should watch it. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what to do when your crush doesn't like you back. Now, this is difficult. This is difficult for every person in the world. This happens to me a lot. It used to happen to me a lot of the times when I was younger, when I was a beautiful child. It's just People just didn't notice how beautiful I was. Um, especially the girls, you know. My mom always thought I was beautiful. My grandma did. Older people did, but not the girls of my age. Um, but that's cool, though, man. You know, I, 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 you know, I get over it. You know, I, 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 I got over it. I, I, I'm not mad. I ain't mad. Um, so, so, so I'm going to show you guys today what to do when your crush doesn't like you back. Because the thing is that we're all going to get rejected. You see, and, and how you react to rejection really does change, really does shape you, shape who you are in life. Because rejection is everywhere, right? And also how you deal with acceptance also um, makes a big difference, right? So a study, a study by the university, by university researchers has found that people who feel bad about feeling bad, I'm reading a quote, people who feel bad about feeling bad, that is, people who get sad about their own negativities and judge themselves harshly for them, wind up with even more mental stress than people who learn to accept their emotions and thoughts, right? So when you struggle dealing and accepting rejection, your personality becomes, 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 um, becomes relegated to the amount of rejection that you get, which is you allow your experiences to change you without you wanting to. You have no control of who you are. Right, and that's because not because of your experience itself, but because you, of your resistance to the event. Right, the resistance to the event is your is your resistance to feeling shitty. Is your resistance to getting rejected, because you have unrealistic expectations about who you are, about who someone who's attractive is. You see. The last thing you should do when your crush doesn't like you back is to feel bad about the fact that you feel bad about him not liking you back. You see what I'm saying? It's okay to feel shitty. You got to understand that. It's okay to feel like you're not wanted. It's okay to feel rejected. But you have to realize that it doesn't reflect who you are as a person. That's what you got to get to your head, right? When you begin to believe that your worth is based on how much your crush likes you, you, then you'll always have a hard time getting rejected by men because you're constantly looking for yourself in men's validation. Suddenly, you don't just you don't have fun anymore because who you are, your identity is at stake. What you have to do is begin to realize that they didn't reject you or they don't reject you, but rather they reject the idea they have of you. When you realize this, you can take rejection as it is. You see, you got to constantly remind yourself that people are not rejecting who you are, but rather their own idea of who you are. So if you, just, if you just got rejected and you see an image of yourself as a defeated, unworthy person, don't fight it. You see, that's the thing is that it's okay to feel shitty. It's okay to feel like you have low self-esteem. It's okay to feel like the less attractive party. It's okay. You just have to accept that, that, that that's happening right now. You see, you can't fight it. Don't push it away. You see it and smile at it. Embrace your rejection and accept it. You allow yourself not to suffer through being okay with feeling bad. You see, because you you prolong the suffering through resisting it, through saying, I don't want to feel this way because I don't want to see myself as the person who got rejected. You want to say face and you want to act like it didn't hurt. No, you got to really feel that the sting of your rejection. Feel that pain fully. Because the more you resist it, the more it's going to become part of your personality, you know, learn to use re rejection as a spiritual practice, which means to learn how to use the shitty feeling of rejection as an excuse to become more present to the moment, so when you feel shitty, when you get rejected, don't go into your mind and say, oh, I got rejected, go into the sensation of the shitty feeling of rejection, feel the sensation, notice how your body gets rejected, and don't say, I feel shitty, but rather say, my body feels shitty, right? And just observe your, the sensation of rejection, almost as though you're, you're somebody else experiencing your body. Now, not somebody else experiencing your body, but almost as though you're doing it from a third person's perspective. Because you got to give your body time. You got to allow your body time to catch up with your mind. You know damn well that they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting the idea of you. Your body doesn't. So you got to remain patient. 
So if your body is reject is reacting almost as though it's losing its sense of self because the other person rejected them, you got to give your body time to catch up with your mind and not feel bad when your body says, oh, I got rejected. No, just say, okay, it's okay, body. You know, it's okay to feel this way. And just stay there and notice your body getting rejected. If you notice that being rejected by men is a, a, um, by men is a sensitive area, that means you must learn how to be in pain and relax into it. You see, because the more stings, the more you have to become present and bring your full awareness to the pain so that you could dissolve it. The resistance to the pain is where the problem lies, not in the rejection itself. See, that's where the pain is. The pain is not in home rejecting you. The pain is not in people saying no to you. The pain is in your resistance to the rejection and in your unrealistic expectation as to what it is to be a human being, as to what it is to be an attractive person. You are, you are made to believe that good people and smart people don't get never get rejected. You are made to believe that spiritual people, attractive people never get rejected. I get rejected, trust me, man, and I'm attractive, you know, yeah, even though people call me cute. You know, I know I'm not cute, I'm hot, but whatever, man, you know, it's okay that people call me cute. I'm, you know, I've had to deal with it my whole life, you know, but it's okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's, <laughs> he's like, oh, this, 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 this dude got issues, man. I don't think he's playing when he, when he gets mad and people call him cute. I think it's some real deep issues. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But seriously, though, you got to use rejection as a spiritual practice. Because if you don't do that, then it's going to, it's going to become part of your personality. And trust me, you don't want that. You know, you really don't want that. You want to be able to experience experience pain and allow it to pass through you because pain is inevitable. Resistance is a choice, you know. And and you may say, how do you do it? Is Well, you got to feel the sensation of the experience. And if you don't know how to do that, then I'm not going to make a video. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because it's a long video. In order to do that, go to go watch my video on how to use a pen and paper in order to be happy. And it'll show you exactly what to do. It, literally, I'll show you exactly what to do with, with, with the pain of rejection in order to grow and use that to support your practice. But that's what you do, man. You don't go into your head and try to find a, re a reason to feel better about yourself. No, you go into the sensation of your experience. And you don't resist it. You don't resist it through seeing it. You see, the more you try to divert your attention from the pain into a, into a thought which is entertaining your mind and saying, oh, he rejected me because of this, the more you're resistant. But rather, see the thoughts, observe the emotion, observe the sensation of the rejection, and just feel the pure sensation. And you allow your body to dissolve it. Right? That's what it's doing. You know, you gotta, you gotta, see, you gotta pay attention to your body through being present whenever those painful things happen, rather than, rather than going into your mind. Right? Anyways, I hope this makes sense. Um, if you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, this is the kind of coaching that I do a lot of. I do a lot of spiritual coaching, uh, especially if, you, if a lot of women who've been rejected, a lot of women who have stress issues, a lot of women who are struggling through negative emotions. I really coach people to deal with those negative emotions. So yeah, I do. I do dating coaching, you know, but I also do spiritual coaching. I just, I just don't really like to advertise that. To be perfectly honest with you. Um, and also, if you guys want relationship coaching, just go to mindfulattraction.org slash any game coaching. If you guys want to be part of my monthly coaching, my coaching a pocket program where I coach you, where you can send me questions on, on an unlimited basis, it's my it's my highest valued um, executive program. Just go to mindfulattraction.org slash any game coaching. You guys will also get information there. I also have more um, email coaching where you guys can send me questions. Also, mindfulattraction.org slash any game coaching. If you guys want to attend my seminar, Go to my for Jackson or slash live seminars. All right. Anyway, take care and have a great day, guys. Bye bye.